Okay, so this is a little bit of a different project. Um, I was contacted by a customer who uh, said he's got an old cream separator that he'd like polished because he saw some of my work on Facebook with the semis and whatnot. Um, so he brought me over this cream separator, which is obviously way before my time. Um, and I uh, got to polish it. So it's going to be an interesting project because obviously aluminum doesn't rust. And um, we've got rust on this, so it's not quite strictly aluminum. But uh, I just did like a quick hand polish spot and it polished up relatively easy actually. Um, I did another spot. Where is it? Right in there. It's kind of hard to see. I just did it in an inconspicuous spot, but uh, I was able to actually get some shine out with just hand polishing and a microfiber, some mic like metal polish and a microfiber towel. So um, the thing is I have to delicately get rid of this rust, uh, which is on a lot of these pieces. This is a spout. I've done my research and I was watching videos on how these work. So like one goes this way, one goes that way, separates them from the bowl and uh, comes out these spouts, blah, blah, blah. There's different pieces and everything. And there's a whole stand that goes with this, but it's not here. That part's not polishable. But um, we've got a lot of like surface rust and some scratches, which will probably not be able to pick up on my camera that easily. Um, as much of this has that can be polished, they want polished, so it's going to be a very tedious restoration project. I'm going to try and get started on today. I'm going to have to figure out how to sand to remove the surface rust because it's really all it is. It's, it, you can feel it. It's on top of the actual metal itself, but I don't want to go super aggressive and end up with sand marks I can't get out or something like that. So i um, got to find that fine balance. I'm gonna try and level off because like after I've hand polished this bit here there you kind of see it there's lots of like scratches and stuff from obviously over use over the years I'd really like to be able to level that and uh, make it as mere finish as I can and same goes for the bowl here bringing it some light so I've got a lot of rust as you can see um, scratches on the outside there's rust and stuff as well um, I'd like to make this look as much of like a mirror as I can, but I have to try, I'm gonna just test on say one of these little guys, these like spouts almost, do some sanding and testing on one of these where it's not as, maybe not as big of a deal if it doesn't end up correct, then screwing up the main part of the bowl. So we'll see where this goes. I'm gonna have to figure out how to mount this all to my table or how I can grind this without uh dropping it or anything like that, but uh, we'll see what I can do. I think my um, handy dandy, I don't even know where it is in here. Somewhere in there, my little three inch, there it is. My little three inch sander is gonna come in handy here. I've got a two inch backing plate as well for this, so if need be, I can just use that with this interface pad and some of my three inch discs. I'll have to cut some 600 grits to make it work with this guy, but uh, I'm sure I can figure it out. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not really set up to do bench grinding. I don't have a bench mounted grinder or a polisher, I should say. So like I said, it'll be kind of tough with that, but I, uh, I'm sure I'll be able to figure this out. So I'll show that. This is the kind of before, obviously I showed it. I will show the after once it is completed or maybe even a little here and there, but we'll see what happens. See how it goes, I guess. <laughs> okay, so it's been a pretty slow progressing day because of how tedious this is, but I've made some progress. So on these funnels, um, I just did an initial cut on like the funnel, like the spout part of it. Kind of did a little cut on here, but I'm um, not too happy with the way that came out. I think this is just, since it's so old, and definitely was not maintained due to the rust. I mean, aluminum doesn't rust. I don't know what was left on it to cause it to do that, but I just did a quick cut on here. I have to still clean it up and stuff, but like, I'm not too happy with the way this turned out. I've sanded this a couple times now. I went over 320, 400, 600 twice, and I still can't get it to look consistent. So that's uh, just the way it's gonna be. For the bowl, 
Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, the bowl came out all right. I mean, I wish the clarity was a little bit better. Um, however, I sanded this with 180. At least the base was all 180. And all of these little black spots were rust spots and those were 180 heavy and I couldn't get them out. So um, that's kind of just unfortunately the way it's gonna be. As for the outside of it, um, came out shiny. I just, I wish it could be that much better. So this was heavily sanded, 320, 400, 600. I went over that one a lot. I don't know. I mean, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. You can do all you want and it's just the way it's gonna be. Um, I think it's, I'll see what else I can think of over tonight. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a Dremel and be able to touch up little spots like in the spout funnel draining area there and these guys will hit with a Dremel as well. Um, but these pieces, uh, all these shims, there are so many of them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. They're all rusted. I can't sand them and I can't get a buff in there. So I might end up just not being able to do these. Unfortunately, I wish I could, but uh, I think these are actually stainless. So <laughs> one of these, uh, it's one of these interesting jobs. I mean, I'm used to polishing trucks. That's what my gear is set up for. I got my like, I don't have a bench mounted polisher. Everything is loose. I got the big wheels, big buffs. I don't have little tiny intricate pieces, but uh, trying to make the best of it. This this guy has been my savior so far, the three inch, but uh, yeah. I'll see what else I can come up with. Hopefully I can get some, some more polished, but uh, I'd rather just be consistent, say have this completely done, have the funnels completely done, and then not even try and touch those because if I do one, I gotta do them all. So, I'll see what I can come up with in a mess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, that's that for now. Just a little update. So I've got the main bowl and these two like funnel pieces polished. Um, this is actually kind of more difficult than I thought it would be. I had to sand quite a bit. I still gotta do some final hand polishing in a few places, but uh, let's build this up. So this got sanded. Some spots, the heavy rust spots, which some of them didn't come out. I didn't want to go super aggressive. This got 180, and then everything else got 320, 400, 600. And uh, exterior of the bowl actually turned out pretty decent. Like I said, I still got a few hand polish spots, but um, the rust that was on it did uh, did etch pretty hard into the aluminum, which is unfortunate, but um, not not too bad. And then for these guys, it took me a while to get this all figured out, but um, everything on here got sanded a few times, <laughs> and uh, I couldn't really get too much. Uh, you can kind of see it. There's like this weird, like, patchy look on it. But honestly, I think it's just due to the fact this aluminum isn't that pure. And then in the inside here, I could only um, hand polish this one. And hand polish the back side of it too, so it's nothing too special. But I got as much as I could out of it. The outside has a pretty decent shine to it, which is nice. But uh, this one, this one got the same kind of treatment multiple times. I went over it. The outside got polished as well. It came up pretty sharp. And on the inside here, I was able to hit it with the airways, which at least helped a bit. And then I just did a quick hand polish. And the back side, I was able to do most of it with an airway. But like the edges here, I could only really do with hand polish. So you can only do so much with it. And this this metal is really old. So next, I'll have to do with these guys. But um, all these shims, like all of these, probably not going to get polished. I uh, would be here for an eternity, and it would just jack the price of this job up like crazy and plus those and it's when this is all assembled you can't even see these these are inside they go on this piece and then this guy goes on top so what i'm going to do is, is probably polish up as much of this as i can and then um as much as this guy as i can i just did a quick hand polish and it actually came out pretty decent that's just like a quick little hand polish so 
if I do some sanding and actual proper putting and cutting with the airways and stuff, I should be able to get a decent shine out of this. And this part will probably be visible when it's assembled. So these guys won't, and it would take a crazy amount of time, jack up the price. But these two I can at least get done, and I will get those done later this week when I have another aluminum polishing job. But for now, that's all I got. But it turned out all right. I mean, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. It's not like you can just Google how to polish uh, antique cream separator, but um, figured it out using my knowledge. But uh, yeah, I'll give a final update once I get those guys done. All right, so I am done polishing this cream separator as much as I possibly can. The only thing I didn't polish were these shims. There's about a hundred of them and they're extremely delicate and um, would up the price as I said earlier, would up the price quite a bit, but um, everything else turned out all right. So here's the bowl. I'll go over the steps. So inside and on most, some of the rust spots on the outside were 180 with a DA. Um, and everything and then after that is 320, 400, 600 and it got cut, colored and finished twice because I was not happy with the finish after the first time around so I went back and did it all over again minus the sanding just to get rid of any other leftover sanding marks and pull out any other clarity that I could. It didn't end up being super super clear but um, it's definitely a heck of a lot better than it was. A little voice crack, but um, I'm happy with it. I had it outside and I took a look and it's pretty cool. Next up are these like funnel pieces. As I said before, didn't really come out the cleanest on the handle spout part, but uh, it's only so much you can do with old aluminum like this, especially when it's manufactured much differently than it is now, or at least not to the same standards. Hand polished as much as I could, sanded, polished the outside of it. Same for this guy. This guy actually got cut and colored on the inside because I could get to it with a buff. But um, they're not alright. And then today I just did these guys. So these pieces go in the middle of it, kind of like this, and then some of the shims fit in it. But um, they're not alright. Gave it a quick sand, 320, 400, 600 by hand. I didn't use a DA sander on this one, I just did it, and then I cut color finished it as well. Gave the inside a hand polish, nothing too crazy, but uh, you can't see that when it's assembled. But Still looks a lot better than it did before. And then for this guy, I did uh, 320, 400, 600 by hand again. And then cut color, finished it as well. And um, this piece right here, I'm extremely happy with how this turned out. And it's more of like a brass finish. I didn't sand it, but it came out super cool. Uh, I wish you could, I wish this translated over to video as much as it does in real life, because it's, it looks awesome. So, um, Put that back on there. So yeah, that's all of it that I could polish. Um, definitely was a cool job. Pretty happy I got the chance to do this, and I'm hoping the customer is pleased with it because there's really not much more I could do with it, and there's not what anybody else, there's nobody else that you could take it to. So that's that. Um, yeah, hopefully this video actually ends up on YouTube instead of just sitting on my computer hard drive. But yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you all later.